we're really talking a little bit conceptually about how conductors, and also insulators, but in this case conductors, gain and lose charge. So we're going to talk a little bit about what happens if you have two, two metal conductors and they're hanging this, well, it doesn't, the problem doesn't exactly state it, but we're going to assume that it's hanging from an insulator. And they're initially uncharged, and what happens if you bring a charged metal rod next to them? Now they're touching, so you've got them coming together, got a charged metal rod. What happens in these spherical conductors is that the positive charges, the holes, are going to attract toward the rod. And the negative charges, the electrons, are going to be pushed away, as we know. Opposites attract. Um, and that's why the con charge configuration looks like this in the first part. The second part, C, says what happens to the charge on the second ball if all of a sudden you ground it. This little symbol right here, this is the symbol for ground. So you go ahead, it doesn't say explicitly, but it does say what happens to, this char to the charge on this when you ground it. It doesn't say explicitly whether they were removed or not. It doesn't matter. What grounding means is that all of the charge on the object goes to ground, goes to the earth. So you take all of the charge away. So after you ground something, the charge goes to zero. The third part of it says, OK, what happens if while the rod is still next to them, you separate the charges, the, the spheres? What happens to the charges on the spheres when you separate them? So you've got the rod. You separate the spheres. Okay. This one still has net positive charge. This one still has net negative charge. Once you take the, the conducting rod, the charged rod away, what happens is now the spheres are both equally charged, but they have opposite charges. And if you separate them far enough, they'll distribute uniformly around the spheres. And so when you're talking about charging by induction, which is what this problem is about, you're inducing charges on these spheres. It's kind of a cool way to think about how charges behave in conductors. And continue to think about that while you go through this unit.